morning, superstars. So I know you're a bit surprised to see me. Um, Pilates session three was last week, but you guys asked so many amazing questions and you just jumped on board with this so much that I really felt compelled to A, thank you, B, answer some of your questions in more of a live format. I know that I reply, but it's, it's not, I'm not as articulate in message that I am speaking. So I'd really like to get an opportunity to reply to some of those questions that just came up over and over and over. I've also set up an amazing, well hopefully it'll be amazing, live free seminar with me. So it's literally live on Zoom. So a lot of you expressed that you'd like me to do weekly um, workouts. So we've set up a Zoom tomorrow night to give all that a little bit of a whirl. So um, I'll talk to you about that as well. And finally, We've had loads of questions about where this all came from and why we did it. Okay, so I just wanted to cover those three topics today. I'm not gonna make this long-winded, but I really felt like you, you've supported me so much, I felt like I des you deserve to have this. So first of all is how this all came about. It came about in terms of people asking for it because people that knew me a little bit knew the success that I'd had. I came up with this myself because I was one of those riders who just had a good seat. And I've got to say, I thought that people who couldn't do it were just not trying hard enough. And um, a couple of years ago, I had an emergency cesarean. I won't get into great detail, but it was gory, people, proper gory. It really messed with um, my ability to function um, physically. A, a really in a really severe way. And I'm a very goal-driven person, very, very strong, very, very active. So within three months, I'd gotten gone from never not being able to walk to with massive keloid scar, still got a huge keloid scar, which gives me problems. But I was able to overcome all of that, get into gym, be doing Pilates, running, and I was fine, like, right, get me back into riding. But on that horse, it was like I was a different person. My seat was gone. I was already doing Pilates every single day, well, five days at least. And I just wasn't getting anywhere. And I actually nearly gave up the sport. And I really did actually for a couple of weeks. And then I realized that's impossible. I can't give up this sport. <laughs> so I figured out how to solve it. So I studied exercise science a number of years ago. So I went back and revisited that and figured out what my problems were. And Pilates was the answer but it wasn't just the generic Pilates. I needed to tailor it and understand what was important for horse riding and it was the control. It's the control. I was focused on being strong, losing weight, getting back to me after my baby and it really, it, it wasn't about that, it was about controlling or communicating with my body again. Um, so that's why these three courses have been so, people have had such success because it's really tailored to horse riding um, and, to, uh, and, and from someone who really understands um, what you need to be able to do a sitting trot, a rising trot, a canter, etc. So that gives you a little bit of a background as to why I did it. And I was really pushed by Tash and a few other people that knew my story to say, Leisha, this will really help people. Can you please do it? And I really must say it was right at the beginning of July when I was very new at this and I still am new but I was a little nervous and, and a little bit insecure to be able to do it. And the amount of support you guys have given me is just phenomenal. And every time I see these, these questions come up, I, I feel like crying sometimes because you know the people are saying, oh my God, I've been striving for years to not bounce and now I'm not and it's only happened in a week and what a simple thing, I can't believe I didn't know. And you know, I'm so blessed that Tash has given me this platform to be able to help people. I never knew I wanted to do this <laughs> until I've done it. So I just wanted to give you this background as to where it all came from, and that's the first part, okay? The second part is you all screamed out for this to continue and just to have a weekly um, session together. I'm not exactly sure how that will work. So what I've done is I've set up a live Zoom, me Zoom meeting, rather, for nine o'clock UK time tomorrow night. Um, there's a little link below in the comments. Just click onto that and you can register. It gives you the Zoom registration and everything. And it's all about looking at all of the questions that you guys have asked, not just on YouTube, but on Instagram and Facebook and email. All those questions have been collated and grouped because a lot of your questions actually have the, they have the same answer. So 
group answers that require pelvis information, answers that require mindset information, answers that require I don't know information because <laughs> there is some of those. They are all in there and sorted out. So that whole session is about me really showing a workout for you. So going through one, but also just answering your questions and getting to know you all and being able to have a bit of a conversation with you. However long that takes is however long it takes, but I just really want that opportunity to be able to talk to you guys direct and answer your questions. It's gonna be really, really fun. We already put it out on Facebook and Instagram, I think on Monday, we let everyone know that we would do it. And I'm blown away, there's 4,000 people who have registered to come. So, you know, the, the fact that 4,000 people I've helped them and they want more help it just blows me away. I am so inspired by you all and I just cannot wait to help you even more. So if you want to join me there, I can't wait to see you. It's tomorrow night. Get a group of girls together, get a glass of wine. Let's just talk some stuff. Um, and the, um, the link's down the bottom. In terms of questions that you guys have had, loads of questions about knees, about dodgy hips and about dodgy shoulders. Don't feel bad, hips, shoulders, knees, really common injuries, wear and tear. We all get it, we all you hit around 35, 40 and you start to get these niggles. Plus on top of that, if you've had injuries as well, I can't always solve them with Pilates, but what Pilates can do is get the weight away from them. The other thing you've got to remember is it could be referred pain. So for example, excuse me, I lost my voice there. So for example, if you have a look at my hip here, if my hip is a little bit, off to the side, it lifts my leg up. So then I'm on my toe and not using my whole foot properly. So you might have the symptom of, I feel like my toes are really sore because you're on them all the time and my heels are really up and you're trying to solve that, but actually it's a hip problem. So again, that's what I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit tomorrow night is how to self-diagnose those things. So don't worry that you have these hip, shoulder, knee, injuries, the beautiful thing about all the things that I've provided for you is they're not weight bearing, they're not loaded up. So even if you've got an exercise that just, and you, all you can do because of your injury or your, your, um, your pain, you can only move that much, that will improve you. So metaphorically, if you say, I could only move this much, now I can move this much, let me get that close to the camera, I can only, could only move this much and now I can move this much, that could mean, metaphorically, that much improvement. Like that much improvement. You really have to give yourself permission to be able to just do the exercises to a little bit. You, you, I know when I started it, I'm, as I said, I'm a real sort of go-getter, high achiever, push myself to my own detriment sometimes. And I was feeling like I am laying here doing nothing. This is no sweat. This is not hard. This is not gonna help me. But it did. It's really about communication. So for example, when we do the, the hip raise and I say lift one vertebrae for one vertebrae for one vertebrae for one vertebrae, if you could only get a quarter of a vertebrae, fine. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter that will still improve you. So with your knee problems, with your shoulder problems, with your back problems, the exercises are all somewhat the same because it's just about getting your body to communicate. And then later on, once we can get a little bit of momentum, a little bit of communication, then we can give you some core stability and get used to start to use your body more independently and that will take the pressure off those areas. But the starting point is still the same. Okay, so that was one real question, overwhelming question that just kept coming. The other one was about mindset, about how do you just keep going? Um, I've even had a number of people, I think it's 20 now, which is just crazy to me. 20 people have um, found me on Instagram privately and messaged me about how I keep keeping on, ultimately in a nutshell. So how do I keep keeping on, how do I, cope with you know the bad bits and the good bits and just keep going all the time and again my heart sort of sank a little bit that um you feel like that and I may not look like I feel like that guys but I do sometimes it is hard to keep going sometimes it's really hard to just be yourself and try for your own goals and the reason why I'm talking about this in the Pilates section is this is the safest way to be able to start 
to just be yourself and get your own writing goals and just do it for you. Because this does involve a coach or a horse or anything like that. You can do this in the privacy of your own home and just do it for you. So all I say to you guys out there is if you think this helps you, just do it. Don't worry about what other people say. Be brave, smile, never react. That's how I cope with it. If, any, if, I'm, if I'm ever struggling, I just make sure that I give myself permission to have a day off, give myself permission to do it my own way. It might feel like it doesn't work in the beginning, but it will. It really, really, really will. So guys, so another question has been, at what point do we stop the Pilates on the ground and get on our horse? The answer is twofold. A, never do you stop the Pilates on the ground. The Pilates on the ground is something to solve an issue, but then also keep the issues away, okay? Not just for horse riding, but for everything. Second of all, you're able to start riding immediately because you're not always building strength in this program. It's often just about awareness and communication. So some people, just understanding where to move your pelvis solves it enough. Just understanding how to actually twist your pelvis, what that achieves, or, or flip your pelvis, bring your pelvis up, understand what that achieves for your sitting trot. Understand what that achieves for your canter. Understand what that achieves for your legs. That sometimes is all people need to make a massive difference straight away. So you don't have to stop riding, come and do this course, then go back to riding. Absolutely not. You just apply the little learnings that you learn as you go along into your riding. And as you progress along the course, your body gets a muscle memory and an idea of what it's supposed to do and it will start to do it more automatically. So I told you it was only gonna be a quick one. I think I've rattled on for a good 10 minutes now. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoy those three sessions of Pilates. They are going to be there forever. They're forever there. Go re-watch them over and over and over. And please guys, come and meet me tomorrow night. I'll answer so many more of your questions live. I'll get to talk to you, show you a little workout. And if we can work out a way to get this ongoing workout together, let's do it. All right, guys. Next week, there's a vote going on for what's on Friday. So get on to our actual YouTube page and go to community. And there's a vote at the moment. You guys get to vote about what's coming on on the Friday session. There's quite cool options, so I can't wait. Mwah! Thanks so much, guys. Bye.